Music is important to the teaching of communication because communication isn't just language. Communication exists on so many different levels. And music is one of those that actually transcends ideas of language. It's something which is a, a true universal. The reason why music is important to meaning communications, because we have such a, a wide variety of students coming in, is because it's not something that's reliant on particular kinds of cultural context. So even though the theoretical work, the critical work, often comes from um, a sort of a American, European, British kind of critical context, students can come in with lots of different cultural influences and actually find their route into the music. Here at the University of Leicester, we've got this really interesting third year undergraduate module called Music as Communication. And what happens in that module is that the students get the opportunity to think about what they're passionate about within music, because that passion is the starting point. They don't have to know anything technical about the music. They just have to be able to start a dialogue about what they like and what they dislike, because that's the starting of analysis. Now, this is like quivering. It's like you're shaking with fear. And it's a very common device used in lots of music to communicate this idea of something nasty is coming and something terrible is happening and it builds a sense of anticipation. One of the other key emotions that's communicated through music is ideas of romanticism, ideas of flow. There's even a genre within music that's called the romantic. So um, I'm going to try and play something that's vaguely romantic. Now what kind of romantic is that? It's not necessarily, I'm absolutely in love and everything's going positive, but actually it could be something that's more like a romantic longing, the idea of this is a lost love. One of the things about the mediated world in which we live is that it isn't just audio, it isn't just visual, it's a combination of the both. And one of the things about the way in which students experience their studies is a combination of the both. So on the one hand, they can be looking at material, they can be experiencing, but very often the way in which they learn is going to be a combination of audio and visual, listening and looking and doing and all those kind of things joined together.